In this tutorial, I will tell you about the difference between complex and classical compounds. Complex compounds are those compounds which retain their properties in solution, for example, K4FeCN6 and FeFeCN6. And classical compounds are those compounds which do not retain their properties in solution, for example, sodium chloride and ferric chloride. For classical compounds, if we see an example of NaCl, if we take NaCl example for classical compounds, we know that uh, NaCl is a single salt, white crystalline solid, and uh, comprises of one cation and one anion. The bond between sodium and chloride is ionic bond, which is soluble in nature. In solid state, it is hygroscopic in nature, white crystalline solid, and doesn't conduct electricity. But in aqueous form, it conducts electricity. Why? It is conducting electricity in aqueous form. Is that when we dissolve NaCl in water, it breaks into Na plus and Cl minus, which means that the force or the bond that holds them together is bro broken now. So now Na plus and Cl minus, both ions will show their presence separately. That is why they conduct electricity in aqueous form. So if we see sodium chloride is hygroscopic in nature, in solid state, but in aqueous form it is not hygroscopic. It is not conducting electricity in solid state, but it conducts electricity in aqueous form. In solid state it is a white crystalline solid, and in aqueous form when we dissolve NaCl in water, it completely loses identity which means they are not able to retain their properties in solution that is why they are classical compounds because classical compounds are those compounds which do not retain their properties in solution and if we see example for complex compounds K4FeCN6 K4FeCN6 is a complex compound this potassium means K has positive charge and it is a counter ion so its opposite charge will present here which means when we dissolve it in water it breaks into K plus and FeCN6 minus and the whole properties of a complex compound depends on this coordination sphere means FeCN6 now the question is uh, if we dissolve complex compounds in water the bond between potassium and the whole coordination sphere breaks but the bond between this metal Fe and this, this ligand Cn, the bond between Fe and Cn6 doesn't break because Fe and Cn6 are connected by the coordinate covalent bond which is the strongest bond which needs huge amount of energy to break it. That is why they are able to retain their properties in solution state. So these are the basic differences between complex and classical compounds.